Hi folks, we are ready for you for our Vintage Source Weekend this weekend, August 15th and 16th. We're open 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and we're taking a little tour through the store. We've introduced some beautiful fall colors like this deep uh, emerald green. Cheryl has several wonderful bookcases with fabulous storage. And as you know, we like to mix in cottage style with the ever popular mid-century style. Here's a piece in Jenny's section with an Asian flair, a low sideboard. Jenny also has some really cool maps. Here is another set of maps from Jenny. She has a farm style trestle table. And here is another table, but this one's more of a cabin Adirondack style. Beautiful buffet painted black with a refinished top and a funky cork board in the shape of a wine bottle. Here in Cheryl's section is a um, mid-century chiffon robe with lots of drawer storage behind those panel doors. And then a spinet desk, an antique spinet desk done in that beautiful emerald green. Next to a pair, this is uh, two natural wood tone bookcases. Jenny has made another uh, petite kitchen island with a pot rack on the top, give a little bit of an industrial feel. And behind it is an antique primitive glass front cupboard. I love this faux bamboo twin bed here. And not to be missed, this beautiful farm table. It's around eight feet long, several leaves in it, chunky legs, red base, beautifully refinished top, paired up with these leather-like Parsons chairs. In Troy and Andrew's section, they've made another one of their very popular lamps on the surveyor's tripod. Beautiful glass top mid-century dresser in a weathered finish. Another example of a, a lovely mid-century dresser and a low dresser here. Troy and Andrew also have a antique table that they've done a crackled glaze finish on the bottom. And here's another view of Troy and Andrew's section. Richard and Jerry have this fabulous folding screen and Asian style, beautiful gold and green tones. Here is a walnut top reclaimed uh, legs farm table that Richard made and refinished lovely. In the background there, you can see an art deco style dresser where they left the wood natural and then painted the exterior uh, beige color. Richard and Jerry do such a nice job with their painting details. You can see some two-tone colored uh, dressers as well as a china hutch. Antique sideboard there in the back and china hutch here in the front. Duncan Fife drop leaf table and a multi-drawer dresser. Bright blue twin bed here and a corally pink dresser. We do like our color here at the Finished Source. A really cool framed pin board up there. Now we're entering my section. I have a Clayton Marcus upholstered uh, wingback set tee here. It's in excellent condition. And I want to zoom in on this hall tree. Ashley has made this whale um, board hanging. It's so cute. In the back of the shop, I have this seven foot long weathered gray uh, farm style table. I just want to show you little snippets here in the store. Again, in the back room. Here's a close-up on a few more of these weathered board hangings that Ashley has made for us. An anchor there and a plane. Very cool narrow bookcase with adjustable shelves. Long narrow table here. Now we're looking at a great DIY two-piece china hutch. Oversized coffee table with a glass top. The brand is uh, Tommy Bahama. It's a very nice piece. Here's an iron twin bed. Beautiful scroll work on it. A little petite cabinet here. And another one here. I've also got these great double shutters. Uh, there are three of those. So we'll see all of you this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We also have outside a lot of DIY furniture, uh, outdoor tables, and also a couple chippy doors that people have been looking for, and lots of windows, old windows this month. I want to remind you that Nicole from Heritage Chocolate won't be with us this month. She's getting ready for the grand opening of her store in downtown Leonardtown, and we'll see her next month. So thanks everybody, see you soon.